Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. About 75 degrees out here right now. Expecting a high up around 85 today. Looks like some rain clouds out there in the Gulf. Dry here. We're down in Area 1 Beach. We're at the south end of the park this morning. We'll start our walk, head down the ramp here. Good morning, everybody. Glad to see somebody's up. Temperature still 85 degrees. I haven't been down in this area of the park since Alberto passed by us, skirted by us. This beach looks great down here. Looks like it's in really good shape. Starting to pick up a little color in the sky there, getting some pinks in the clouds. I'm not gonna go too far down here. The park ends where the condominiums start. What a contrast though. All those condominiums, and then you look here at the park. Absolutely beautiful, no, no condos, just unspoiled beach paradise here. A mile, the beach at Del Norwegans. Water looks really nice down here. In area one. Boy, nice and clear. Beautiful here. Absolutely gorgeous. This is probably the the biggest stretch of beach we have is down in Area 1 at Del Nor Wiggins. That's the nicest stretch of beach right now. There's a couple turtle nests down here. There's one way down there. There's one right up here. I don't know if we had any more crawls down here last night, but we'll take a walk up the beach and see what we find. I'm gonna turn around, head north. I'm torn between walking up on the high tide line up here, all along here, or walk down along the water's edge. I think I'm gonna walk right along the edge of the water here. A lot of fish, just jumping just offshore. Probably some mullet maybe. They were just jumping like crazy as soon as I put the camera on them, of course they stopped. Three quarters of a moon way, way up here. I don't know if you can see it there. There it is. The, still got the moon up there in the sky. About, a, about three quarters, maybe two thirds. Another 
gorgeous morning. Big difference between the north end of the park and the south end of the park. Lots more beach here in area one right now, post Alberto. But all of our sea oats have finally come back down here. That's a one, that's a great thing. Last September, Hurricane Irma just buried all of our sea oats, buried them into the, in the sand. Now they're all making a strong comeback. That's good news. We definitely need these sea oats. That's what holds our shoreline together, the roots of these sea oats. Please don't mess with them. Stay out of them. Don't pick them. Keep your kids out of here. Don't set your beach chairs back up in here. Just pretend there's a, a wall right along here. Don't cross it. Don't cross into the dunes. Stay out of the dunes. No reason to be in there. Now the tops of those clouds are starting to light up. Get a little pink. Five degrees right now, pretty still, very calm, a little humid. Again, expecting a high up around 85 today. Water temperature is 85. Beautiful Saturday morning here in Paradise, North Naples, Florida. Something just jumped right out here in front of me. We've got all kinds of fish that just swim along the shore, just offshore here. Sheephead, drum, snook, mullet. Occasionally we see some sharks. And of course we have our dolphins. Haven't seen our dolphins in a while. There you see, right there something just jumped. Stingrays. Wish the sun was up, I could see out there and maybe be able to tell what kind of fish they are. It is gorgeous down here. The water is absolutely crystal clear. We're down in, if you're just joining us, we're down in area one, very south end of the park. Looks like mullet jumping out here. School of mullet just offshore. I'm guessing Roy's up at the pass. I was torn between going up to Wiggins Pass this morning or starting down here. I was curious to see what the beach looked like after the storm down here, so here I am. I think it was a good call. A little color up there, tops of the clouds are turning pink as the sun comes up. I haven't really seen any shells down here yet. If you look out into the gulf, 
Look at those clouds. Wow. Those clouds and you can see the moon up there just above them, the little white dot. That's pretty nice, isn't it? That's pretty neat looking. I'm gonna take a picture, hang on. Wow, that's something else there. Got a sea turtle nest up in the dunes up there. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe we add another crawl. Let's we'll see if we find any new crawl tracks on the beach this morning. Not a whole lot of shells down here. That's about it. See those, just a little tiny line of them. Not a whole lot out in the water either down here this morning. Crossing into Area 2 now. Area 2 Beach. Okay, be sure to hit that share button. Let's get some more folks watching here. Got an early start today. The park rangers are excited. They got a new beach vehicle the other day. I see that out here driving by. No signs of any sea turtle tracks yet. No new crawls. Fish just jumped right out there. Boy, I gotta turn around and get a picture. The sky is just gorgeous with these two big clouds back here. Check this out. Look at the water. Look at that. That is just incredible. Bear with me. That is absolutely gorgeous. The water, look at the water down there reflecting the clouds. Wow. You can still see the moon up there. Slowly setting, see it up there? Beautiful. That is gorgeous. It's gonna be a nice picture. Not much color out to the east. Looks like all the color this morning's out in the Gulf. Out to the west, down there to the south. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Sorry, I just keep taking pictures. I can't resist. These clouds here are something else. Look at them. 
Starting to fade a little bit. Still haven't come across any neat shells. I'm hoping. There's a little slipper shell. Might as well pick up the old slipper shell. Seen quite a few of those, but I always like checking out the slipper shells. It's got a hole in it. <laughs> Look at that. It's a worn out slipper shell. Really peaceful out here this morning. Oh man, now those clouds are just going crazy out there. Crazy, crazy. I'm gonna get up a little higher on the beach. Get another picture of those clouds. Just incredible. Now the whole, almost the whole clouds are orange. Wait till you see this. Look at that. Isn't that something? Absolutely gorgeous. Looks like the clouds are on fire. That is something else. It's actually a rain cloud. There's some rain in that baby out there. Beautiful, the way that water is reflecting the colors right now. now. Let's keep marching up the beach. We're just coming to the north end of area two. That's the access ramp at the north end of parking lot two, right there. With sea turtle nest number two down at the base of it right there. That was the second sea turtle nest we had on the beach. Tide's starting to come back in. You can see all these old tree stumps sticking out here. A lot of fish have been jumping just offshore. Probably mullet would be my guess. See the barge is out here, getting ready to start that dredging barge up again, pumping the sand out. Looks like they moved it further south down the beach. Yep, definitely mullet. I just saw one jump. Look at that sky. There's the moon, that little white dot up there, that's the moon still. Up in south. Isn't that beautiful? What a beautiful morning. I can't resist taking a picture, bear with me. 
so calm out here this morning. Really little waves breaking on the shore here. There's an osprey just landing right there in that tree. So I can zoom into him. See him up there? Just landed. He's going to perch up there, keep an eye out in the water. It's amazing how they can spot a fish out there. They'll sit up there, they'll spot a fish and go after it. Great eyesight, the ospreys. It won't take them long. There's fish jumping all over here. Boy, there he goes. Where's he going? Oh, it's going to get her. Get up on a higher branch up here. Get a little better vantage point. There he is. Looks like he's drying his wings out. He or she. Probably a male. I think the female's sitting back on the nest. Very cool. Okay, let's keep moving up the beach, see what we find. Hopefully we'll run into Roy. Good to see Scott and Linda out here shelling. Still no signs of any new sea turtle crawls. I didn't walk all the way down to the end of the beach, but very close. Started down in area one this morning. Just wanted to see what happened to the beach, but it looks like the north end of the beach is what got hit the hardest with the erosion. You can see here area three's got some signs of erosion all along here. Got some areas blocked off. Area one looks great. Lots and lots of beach down in area one. The water looks great down here this morning. Nice and clear. Haven't really found anything as far as shovels go yet. There are a few shells down at the south end right now. Maybe out in the water. I was hoping if I got an early start that I'd see some dolphins. We haven't seen them lately. I was thinking, eh, maybe they're coming out earlier with the sunrise being so early now. Love this place. Great place to come and relax, clear your mind. We're at the north end of area three now. We're just getting into that stretch of beach between parking lots three and four now. Couple no see biting me. So it's summer, officially summer in 
hurricane season has officially begun. Forecasters are saying it might be a pretty active hurricane season. I see a crawl, set of crawl tracks up here in front of me. I see a sea turtle, set of sea turtle tracks. Here comes a pelican flying by. A brown pelican. Very cool. That cloud's starting to lose its color now, starting to turn white. Beautiful. Big rain clouds out there. I didn't see any rain in the forecast this morning. It, it changes every hour here, though. You never know when it's going to rain. Nobody knows. Well, these are really pronounced. It's a really good set of tracks up here. See them on the beach? Let's see where this girl went. She went up into the dunes. This is a really deep set of tracks. This was a heavy turtle. These are the tracks coming out of the water right here. See how they're pushed back? You can see the sand is like goes sideways. You can see the sand is like pushed back. That is a really nice set of crawl tracks there. She came up here. See she crawled up the beach here. A lot of digging went on up here. A lot of digging up in here. It's where the rangers are gonna have to probe around. Maybe they'll find something. There's where she came. There's the return tracks right there, going back to the water. See how they look like big tractor tires? I'm gonna take a couple pictures of them real quick. Post them later, just so you can get a good look at them. I'll get them coming out of the water here. Just bear with me here while I take these photos. Sorry about that, I'm back. I'm gonna get a shot of the tracks coming out of the water. That's a loggerhead sea turtle. Give you a closer look at the crawl tracks. I don't see, yeah, no, I don't see that little squiggly line that I told you about. I don't know. This was, this might have been a false crawl. We'll see. Rangers will determine that. These are some deep tracks right here. These are the tracks going back to the water. You get a shot of them looking back from the water. So please bear with me. I apologize, but. Sorry, folks. Can only do pictures or video. That's nice, at least we had another crawl. Maybe we'll find another one up the beach. Give you one last look at those tracks. So if you come across them, if you do come across tracks like this on the beach, don't disturb them. The rangers actually come out and measure the distance of the crawl. They measure how far the nest is from the water, how far the sea turtle crawled, and they plot all this information on charts, and they keep track of them. That's cool. This is right in between areas three and four. Again, this is where the sea turtle came up the beach. Went up, attempted to dig a nest. Don't know if it was a success or not up here. Came back down there.
that would be the potential nest site. All right, let's continue my walk. I'm not gonna walk across those tracks. I'll leave them there for the rangers. They look like big tire tracks, don't they? Like big tractor tire tracks. These are really deep. Really deep. I think maybe Roy is up ahead of us up there in Area 4. Still no signs of any great seashells. It's always fun to see a new, find out that a sea turtle crawled up on the beach, keeping our fingers crossed that she laid some eggs. Oh, here's a brown pelican swimming by. Let's see if he comes by me. Paddling around there, looking for a fish. They drop that big beak in the water and opens up like a big net. Looks like he's gonna turn around and swim away from me. Come back in closer to shore. I can get a good look at you. Still kind of dark here. He's swimming away from me. Brown pelicans. Very common here, the brown pelican. Just flying up, going a little further north up the beach there. Yeah, I believe I see Roy's beach gear up there. Looks like he's heading up to Wiggins Pass. I don't know how far we're going to get on a battery here. I started down in Area 1 this morning, so we're getting a look at the whole beach. Beautiful morning. Expecting a high of up around, oh, 85 today. Holy guacamole. Is this? No, I thought that was a worm shell. I think it's a root. Little, yeah, a little too soft to be a worm shell. Man, that would have been a huge worm shell, wouldn't it? I don't know. No, it's definitely fibrous. Definitely a tree root. Oh, well. Well, I haven't even seen any worm tips along the beach down here. Usually find lots of them. The north and south ends of this park are very different along the beach, very different. It's almost like two different ecosystems. We're in area four now. And this beach has gotten much bigger, much bigger. Area five beach is almost washed away. Area four beach has gotten a lot bigger. Sun still hasn't come up over the trees. Saw some beautiful colors out in the Gulf earlier this morning. There's part of a worm shell. Finally, just a piece of one. Too bad the tip broke off it. 
This piece of a wormy. So it's got some neat ridges in it. Nice piece of shell right there. A little jewel box over here. Part of a jewel box shell. Half of a jewel box shell. Everybody must still be sleeping this morning. Cockle shell down here. Rinse the sand out of that, the cockle shell. Those are pretty. Where's our dolphins? Come say good morning, dolphins. I think this darn barge is scaring them away. They're keeping their distance. With some really crazy little tide currents out here around the edges of the sandbars. You can see the water swirling around out there. See if I can zoom in. Give it a focus. It's wild, huh? Almost looks like fish swimming around out there. It's just the tide hitting the edge of a sandbar. Doing the same thing over here. Little waves popping up out there. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Pretty wild. Whoops. You don't want to see that. That's yeah, too early in the morning to see that face. The sun's just starting to pop up over the trees here. See it over here? It's just behind the trees. It'll be coming up any minute now. Brightening up our beach and water. Heating things up. Whew. It's probably gonna be a warm one. I'm gonna go zoom in on one of these pelicans swimming past out here. Hey, stop the wrong button come on guy come in a little closer show off for the camera he's looking right at us the brown pelican just bobbing up and down on the little waves Fun to watch them flying by. <clears throat> yeah, definitely rain. That's a big rain cloud out there. Big storm cloud. That was beautiful earlier this morning. Beautiful orange. <clears> that <throat> looks like about it though, rain-wise. Looks like everything's out in the Gulf. Oh.
Where are all the seashells? Just never know. There's another pelican swimming by out there. There's one of our little black scallop shells down here. Little black scallop. You can find some pretty nice scallop shells here every once in a while, some nice big colorful ones. Only one, one new sea turtle crawl last night so far that I've seen. Some really nice tracks though. We got a good look at those sea turtle tracks. Very deep. There's some very good impressions there. Even if we don't find any outstanding shells this morning, a really nice morning for a walk. I can tell who the early risers are now. This is all kind of new beach right out here in front of me. We got some shells down here. They're all mixed in with these little pieces of old tree leaves and stuff. Probably some great little shells down here. If you want to spend the time looking. Huh, that's some interesting colors on that one. It looks like a few more people got up out of the sack. <laughs> There's a little kitten's paw. Oh, nice. This is a whole kitten's paw. It says both sides. That's cool. The whole kitten paw shell. Perfect. Great little find. You know, our friend Linda found one of these the other day. That's cool. Yeah, there's an old whelk. A very old little lightning whelk. Look how faded that guy is. Faded and chipped out. Chipped up. A little lightning whelk. Come on, focus. I'll leave that for somebody else. Little worm tip down here. Gotta pick up a worm tip in the morning and show everybody a little wormy shell. I thought I saw a little tiny conch shell here. I don't know where it went. Oh, there's a, a piece of a apple murex. Just a piece of an apple murex shell. See the inside of it, that's kind of cool. Apple murexes are really nice looking shells. Well, there's a lot of little shells right down here. There's a piece of a worm shell. Nice little piece of a worm shell right there. The tube. Nice little baby conch shell. A little baby fighting conch. A 
to remember to look behind me. <laughs> Yeah, there's probably some great little shells buried in here. Scott and Linda will probably spend a little time looking here. Another little conch. That's a keeper there. That's in good shape. Little baby fighting conch. I can find a nice big worm shell this morning. There's a little worm, a little wormy there. It's got the tip and a little piece of the shell, the worm shell. Oh, I saw another one over here. Yep, there's another nice little worm. Little auger over here. Little auger shell, worm shell, the auger up on the top. Beautiful, this has got a little, maybe a little baby crown conch here. Beautiful. Got to keep your eyes open for the little ones. Everybody's looking for those big giant shells and they walk right past all these little treasures. Another slipper. I always like showing the slipper shells to our friends. See how they look like a little slipper? Let's see if I can turn. See how it looks like a little slipper when you look at it like that? A slipper shell. It's a bigger fighting conch shell. Old Florida fighting conch. Make sure there's nothing in a shell before you take it home. Don't take anything that's got a living animal inside of it. It's a Florida fighting conch. Nice little scallop shell. Piece of worm rock down there. Worm rock, not a worm shell, worm rock. Just a little piece. Nice morning out here. Other than that ugly old barge sitting out there. Lots of little shells out here this morning. They're all getting caught up. Oh, look at this. Hey, sand dollar. That'll be a keeper. Oh, it broke as I picked it up. Oh, it was old. There was a sand dollar there, and as I picked it up, it just crumbled in my hands. But that's going to give us the opportunity to see the little doves inside the sand dollar. Check this out. When you open up the sand dollar inside, I'm going to see if I can get one on my hand here. Inside the sand dollar, there's, they call those doves. See that, how it looks like a little dove inside the sand dollar? If there's any more there. There's some more in there. See, there's another one. Kind of in between my fingers there. See how it looks like a little dove? The dove's inside the sand dollar. That's pretty cool, huh? It's 
See it there? That's what's inside a sand dollar. Well, that was really a soft sand dollar. There's a little tiny baby turkey wing down here. A piece of a tur turkey wing. Let's walk over here. Still a lot more shells over here. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with those sand dollars. Some of them are very, very fragile. Wanna make sure they're not alive when you pick them up. Here's some jewel box shells. Three little jewel box shells. A lot of little worm tips out here. I've seen the worm tips this morning. Nice little conch shell over here. Little baby Florida fighting conch. What do we got down here? Mossy arc or turkey wing? Looks like an old turkey wing. Maybe a mossy. There's another. There's an old turkey wing. Turkey wing shell. Lots and lots of slipper shells down here this morning. Lots of them. All kinds of great little stuff. This is right in Area 4. A little towards the north end of Area 4. Some great little shells. Definitely worth spending some time looking through these. Couple more worm shells and look at there. A little tiny baby lightning whelk. See it there? A little baby lightning whelk. Some more worm shells. A lot of worm shells here this morning. A lot. And lots of little shells, little babies. Really hard to see the little ones. Well, I want to move on. I spent enough time here, this part of the beach. I see the rangers are behind me checking out that sea turtle crawl. You can see that in the replay of this video. Nice crawl tracks on the beach this morning. Where is Scott and Linda? Hope I have enough battery to make it up to the end of the park. The other day I ran out of batteries. So I was getting ready to chat with Roy. Maybe I'll go chat with him right now. Wow. There's a lot of shells here. A lot. All those seashells down there. Lord only knows what all is down here. A piece of a lightning whelk caught my eye over here. Just that little bottom piece of it down there. I'm going to save some for other people. Oh, I'd like a nice big whelk or a moon shell.
There's a nice little olive missing its tip down here. A little olive shell. Beautiful shell is the little olives. Nice worm shell. There's a nice worm shell. It's an interesting shape there. That's a cool looking worm shell. Very cool. Nice one. A piece of a little shark eye down here. There's the eye. The eye of a shark eye shell. Moon shell, shark eye. Wouldn't mind finding one of those this morning. There's our buddy. We'll go over there and say hey in a minute. Hey, Rob, how are you doing? Roy, Roy, how are you doing? Are you staying out of trouble? No. Staying out of trouble? No. <laughs> There you go. How you been, man? Good, good. How about you? Good to see you. I didn't see you yesterday. Well, you stopped by home there. There you go. I saw you. Yeah, I saw <laughs> you. Saw your flowers. <laughs> saw your garden. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. Well, it's a beautiful day again, isn't it? It is beautiful. Boy. Yeah, I was up early, went down, saw the sun peek up. It was yeah, beautiful. I saw you come up here, yeah. Not too much tint this morning, but you beautiful when the sun rose. Yeah, mostly color was this way this morning. Yeah. Yeah, I and got touched the top of the clouds there. Oh, oh there was those clouds down there Wasn't were something beautiful? else, weren't they? Yeah. Wow. They were big, huge. Big clouds. Yep. They I just wonder lit if there's up. some rain way out there. Yeah. It kind of looks that way. Yeah, there's some rain out in the Gulf, definitely. It's quite a ways out, though. Hopefully mm -hmm. it stays out there. We <laughs> definitely have rain out there. What is that? Is that the pipe running out there up at the north end yeah yeah i don't know why it's surfacing well they don't have the water blowing through it yet huh when that happens then it sinks that might, the dolphins must be afraid of that or something i haven't seen dolphins in the longest time they must not like that this barge and stuff out here well they follow the fish and maybe it keeps the fish away well there's a lot of fish down the other end there was a lot of fish jumping oh, yeah? this morning yeah down huh. in one down at the very end but not up here. Yeah, to go swimming, you got to walk way out over that sandbar. Boy, this beach has changed a lot. Huh. I don't know where Scott and Linda are. They're usually here by now. Yeah, yeah, I saw they're, them yesterday. They're running late today. Well, they're moving into their new home or getting ready to. Yeah, their, they got a little clean up before, arriving, yeah, before they get in gonna there. He's going to put down tile floors or something. So they got a lot of work to do. I'm going to walk up the beach a little further. Sure. And, um... I'll come back and we'll chat. You gonna stick around? Oh yeah. Hopefully my battery won't run All dead day. on me. If my battery goes dead, I'll charge it back up. <laughs> the shell is still there with a the, with a root through it. Is it still up there? Yeah. That's All right. Quite we'll an interesting scene. We'll see if that's check that out. Maybe we'll get lucky and see some dolphins. I'm hoping. Yeah, hey, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in a little while. Always great seeing you. All right, Roy. Right. Yep. I'll be right yeah. back. Do a little more shelling. Come back and chat with Roy. If my battery goes dead, I'll recharge it. And I promise we'll have a little chat with Roy. I'll hand the phone over to him again. And y'all can talk to him, ask him some questions. He gets a big kick out of that. So there might be two beach walks today. Who knows? Two live feeds. What? 
I just want to walk up the beach a little further and see what we can find. Roy singing away back there, having a good old time. If you're new to these beach walks, please introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. We're one big happy family here. White scallop shell down here. Kind of a grayish white scallop. Lots of great little shells along the beach this morning. Well, I'm just not seeing, I'm looking for a moon shell or a nice murex, maybe a nice big whelk shell. Lots of little shells. It definitely pays to take your time and go through all these little shells. You definitely find some interesting things when you stop and look. I just don't have all morning and I like to cover the beach. See, there's a little piece of a tulip shell down there, right down there. There's a sand flea inside a shell. <laughs> Boy, lots of little worm tips down here this morning. Piles of them out here. You want to get yourself a jar full of them. This morning's a good morning to come out here and do it. Saw a lot of fighting conks. A lot of fighting conks out here this morning. The Florida fighting conks. The empty shells. Love listening to the sounds of the waves. We tend to get a little more wave action up here at the north end of the beach. Oh, there's a big, beautiful cockle shell. Look at that. That's a beauty there. That's a really nice cockle shell. Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, be sure to tell your friends. Take some time, check out my photos. I usually take a few photos during each beach walk. When you find something you like, hit the share button, the like button. Remember, nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks in the morning. I love doing it. If you want to make a little contribution, it always comes in handy. Helps pay the phone bill. That's about coming due right about now. Without this phone, there would be no beach walks. If you want to make a little contribution, you can find my PayPal account info. 
the description of this post a little later after the end of the live feed. And if you like these beach walks, be sure to make sure you sign up to get notified when I go live. That way you, you won't just stumble across them. You should see an option there to, to sign up for notifications. Darn trash on the beach. That's a shame. Lots of pockets of shells here this morning. Lots of little pockets here. Again, this is the stuff that you really want to take some time, bend down and go through all these piles of shells. This is where you find some interesting stuff. I just kind of walk along and if something catches my eye, I pick it up. Another piece of a worm shell. That is so cool, these worm shells. They're just fascinating. That's just a piece of one. That would have been a great one if it had the tip on the end here. Some great stuff down here. Really interesting. Another piece of a worm shell. Well, that's a great, great piece right there. Yeah, there's like kind of layers. Boom, see how it looks like it's layered up here, the shells? That's pretty neat. Thought I just saw a nice little Little olive shell down there. A little olive. Find these in all different colors, the olive shells. I'm betting you there's some really nice stuff right down here. This is the north end of Area 4, south end of Area 5. A lot of shells washed up right down here. And it's just a pile of shells. Well, I wonder what it looks like up the pass. Should I take a walk up to Wiggins Pass, see how it looks this morning? I think we can get around up here. Or our beach washed out. A long beach walk this morning started down at the very end, down in area one. Boy, look at all this, all these shells. Huge piece of coral, look at this. That's a nice piece of coral. Look at that piece of coral. Wow. That's a nice little piece of coral. Piles of shells here, piles of them. An old moon shell. There's a old shark eye right there. See it there? Piece of a shark eye shell. Oh, I saw a little conch down here somewhere.
Huh, where'd it go? You see things and then you lose them. You pick your head up and you can't find them. There's the little conch shell down there. Little baby fighting conch. Okay, hang on a second, I gotta do something with this piece of coral. Put that, hang on. Put that in my other pocket. I'll break all my shells. Nice piece of coral. I'm gonna walk up here a little further, get around the trees, see how things look the north end there up in area five lots of shells in the water here even some shells up along where the beach washed out up here we lost a ton of beach see that lost a lot of beach up here Up here is that shell that Roy was talking about that the, the tree roots grew around. This thing was buried for nobody knows how long. Big horse conch shell, it looks like. See it down, right down here. Actually, it was underground. The tree roots grew right through it. When this beach got all washed away, our friend Scott noticed that when he was walking along. Pretty cool. Lord knows how old that thing might be. We lost a good four to five feet of beach there. Look at that. Terrible all from just a tropical depression. We definitely don't need a hurricane. Hurricane season started yesterday. Oh boy, lots of shells here. Wow. These little piles of shells up along the beach here. What's left of the beach. Turn around and give you a look back down the beach here. Beautiful Saturday morning here in North Naples, Florida. It's a pretty good sized storm out there in the Gulf. That's rain out there to the southwest. Look at this, this is just a little mountain of shells down here. Look at that. The water looks pretty nice. It's absolutely crystal clear, clear down the south end of the park. It's a little cloudy up here because of the dredging, I'm sure.
down in area one where we started our walk this morning. It's absolutely beautiful. A lot of beach too down in area one. A lot more beach at the south end than at the north end of the park. I think I'm going to do a second video with Roy this morning. Since this beach walk is quite long. Here we are up at Wiggins, Wiggins Pass. You can see the pipe that carries the sand from Wiggins Pass all the way up to that barge. I don't know if you can see that pipe offshore there or not. I'll zoom in a little bit. Darn it. My hands are wet. Can't get the screen to zoom. There now you can see, see the pipe out there that's carrying sand all the way I'm all the way up the river, the Coquihatchee River, around the corner here, all the way down, I'm dumping it down in about oh, the south end of Area 4. You can see the pipe submerged or above the water there, and then right where that little boat is, it goes underwater, right where that little skiff is. We're doing some work on it, apparently. Somebody just dove in the water. Must have got snagged on something underwater. But that pipe goes all the way down underwater, all the way down to that barge down there. Where's that barge? See that barge? That's just a little south of Roy now, that barge. That's where the sand's being pumped to. That's a pretty long haul. Must be having problems with that pipe because there's somebody in the water over there doing something. You just see his head sticking up. See him out there diving down. There's the pipe over here. Must have got tangled up in something on the bottom. Where's your new toy? Where's your new toy? You afraid to bring it out on the beach? <laughs> no. <laughs> that looked that looked nice. Yeah, it's uh Man. It's just my running around the park toy. Oh, oh not for the well, beach. Once I wear it out, I'll give it to the Rangers. Rosa. Yeah. Rosa needs it. <laughs> did you let her touch it this morning? Yeah, yeah, I did. Barely. <laughs> Barely. She's giving me a stink eye. Like, oh, That's funny. <laughs> And well, one nest this morning, Rob. Was that a, that yeah. was a successful crawl? 13. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Lucky 13. Lucky 13. That was a deep, some deep tracks, too. Yeah. Some nice yeah. tracks. She went way deep, too. Yeah. Nested, so. That was great. Awesome news. Yes, I saw. Is. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later. Have a good morning. Yeah. That is great. We got a, we got a little... A little something there. Looks like a little ladyfish. Well, that's good news. That sea turtle crawl that we saw, that was a successful crawl this morning. Nest number 13. How cool is that? That was very neat. 13 nests on the beach. I'm just gonna come up here, give you a quick look at the pass, and then walk back down. See how long the old battery lasts here. It's been going for quite a while. Oh, 
This is it. This is the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Lots of shells along the beach up here. If you were to get out here right now, probably find, you'd probably find some great shells. Lots of fighting conks on the beach. Mostly empty fighting conch shells. I haven't seen a live one recently. There's a nice little Florida fighting conch shell right there. Always remember when you pick up a shell, look inside. Make sure there's nothing alive inside. Before you put it in your pocket or your bag or whatever your bucket well, a lot of fishermen heading out the pass this morning beautiful morning great Saturday here absolutely beautiful Saturday morning Well, there's a lot of shells, it looks like, up here, just up at the bend. Great morning. Great morning out here so far. Oh, here's a clam shell <laughs> washed up on the beach. Toss it back in the water. It might still be alive. There's that pipe. Now you can really see it. I saw it out in the water earlier. There's a good look at it. The pipe that's carrying the sand from Wiggins Pass, actually up in the Coquihatchee River, down the beach at Delnor Wiggins. Kind of an eyesore. But it's something that needed to be done. The pass was almost becoming unnavigable, however you say that. <laughs> Well, time to do a U-turn, head back down, head south. And that's a great little look across at Wiggins Pass, Barefoot Beach. Beautiful blue sky this morning. Good morning. Beautiful blue sky. Beautiful blue sky with that ugly old pipe. <laughs> Boy, it was gorgeous this morning as that sun was rising. Had some beautiful colors out in the Gulf.
Beautiful colors right now. It's beautiful. Let's snap off a photo, bear with me. Yes, I've been doing these beach walks for probably, I guess it's been three years now. And it's just always amazing the people that I meet here at the park. They come from, pla you know, from different places all around the world and they have seen my beach walks. And they come up and introduce themselves. And it's like amazing. I've met people from all around the world here through Facebook and so have other you know other people admit there's some folks that you know follow these beach walks that have been gone, become good friends close friends it's just amazing the power of social media it's an old whelk shell piece of an old lightning whelk If you enjoy these walks, tell your friends. Be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from in the comments here. Feel free to say what you like within reason. <laughs> Definitely be sure to introduce yourself to the group here. Lots of great little conversations going on in the comments. So one successful sea turtle crawl last night, a new nest, number 13. That's great news. We saw the we saw that earlier this morning. That was neat. So the rangers will probably be down marking that nest in a little while. Maybe I'll get a picture of that. I got a couple pictures of the crawl tracks this morning. But lots of shells here in the water. Right along the shoreline. Boy, look at them all down there. Holy moly. I got to get moving, though. The battery's getting low, and I got a long walk back down that beach. There's a mile of beach here, and we started down at the far end this morning, down in Area 1. Great beach walk. Started right about sunrise, just around 6.30 this morning. Hoping to catch some dolphins out here, but not today. Definitely got some rain out there. Out in the Gulf. Oh, I think I see our friend Scott and Linda now down there. You fishermen. <laughs> Very promising. Good morning. Any luck there, Scott? Nothing. Ladyfish, anything? <laughs> uh, 
Not having much luck out here. Oh, look, it looks like Scott and Linda made it to the beach this morning. I think I see them down there by Roy. Well, hopefully they found a lot of nice shells because I kind of just scurried along the beach this morning. I did find a few interesting things. I left all the good stuff for them, so let's go down there and see what they found before my battery dies. All these piles like this, I didn't take any time going through them. This is where you find some beauties when you start digging around. A little piece of finger coral. You just never know what you're going to find buried in there. But it takes time. Time and patience and a good eye. You got to know what you're looking for. Most people look and they just see a bunch of broken white shells down here. But that's not the case. There's always a little treasure to be found somewhere. Little scallop. Little scallop shell. Lots of great stuff out here on the beach this morning. Of course, this is all going to be underwater. All these little piles of shells when the tide comes up here. Low tide's the best time to come shelling. Old fighting conch. But this will all be underwater soon as the tide comes in. All the beach that got eroded over from Friday through Sunday in Tropical Depression, Alberta. Look at that. That's I go stand next to this. That's a good five feet there of erosion. Lost a lot of beach. What a shame. See the rangers heading down the beach to mark off that new sea turtle nest, nest number 13. Awesome news. Keep on coming, ladies. Boy, last year we had, oh, 56 nests or something, but sadly Hurricane Irma destroyed most of them. That was sad. Maybe I'll have enough batteries to show you the sea turtle nest, the new nest. I'll be out here again tomorrow morning, weather permitting. Got a little surprise in store for Roy. Can't say what it is. 
Just say it's a surprise. Hopefully it happens. Hmm, mosquito just landed on me. Well, I hope you have pockets full of great shells because I left them all here for you. Well, you did leave one. A I really hope. nice one down by the road on the High Line. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Linda, Linda found it for Look you. That is a beautiful, beautiful Murex. That is beautiful. I guessed when I saw that. That is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous Murex. Great yeah. find. Yeah, wow. That is a beautiful. Still has a Hold that in your hand. I got to take a picture of that. That is a, that is a beautiful shell right there. Not exactly sure what kind of Murex that oh, is. Oh. It's got the spine on it. I can't believe it. Never that, find them with the spine. That is gorgeous. That is an absolutely gorgeous. Great find, Linda. Oh, thank you. And you, you're going to trust it to Scott? Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a I nice. I got the pockets. You got, you got a nice. Got one of those, uh, whatever. Yeah, it means. A Gaudi Nautica. Yeah. That's a beauty right there. Beauty. That's it, just a couple little guys. Nice stuff. Oh, a couple little guys. Oh, nice little crown. Another nice little baby crown pump. Awesome. Oh, that's some great stuff. That's yeah, a good morning. Oh, and oh an angel wing. wing. Too. Nice little angel wing. Nice. I don't know how I'm going to keep them safe. But... Yeah, these are so fragile. Nice. Fine, guys. I found a crab in one of these yesterday. Uh, the yeah. Little, yeah. Crab. little herm yeah. crab. Yeah. Little Back augers, the yeah. That's cool. Yeah, you guys found some great stuff. Yeah, and I, I just that. picked this up. You want, I don't know if you want it or not. That's a big for your piece. coral collection. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. There you go. <laughs> it's a nice heavy piece. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It as a weapon too. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, she won't do that. No. You better get moving. You're gonna yeah. run out of battery. Yeah, I gotta get all the way down the other end. By, uh, by OBR. There is a Boy, lot. Really. There is a lot of shells up here along the beach. Okay. We can't even get away from these. I know. There's a lot of stuff on the beach this morning. Yeah, we'll come back with full pockets. There you go. <laughs> All right. Later. See you later. Wow, that was a beautiful Murex shell. That was absolutely gorgeous. What a great find. What'd you find? Really? Found another moon. Oh boy, out. look at that. A Pretty beauty. Color. That is a man, Scott. Some great shells out there this morning. The moon shell, the shark eye. Great find. Awesome. I guess I should have been out here an hour earlier. Yeah, I mean, their, their beach is loaded with them this morning. All right. Loaded with beautiful shells out here. Still raining out there in the Gulf. You see our little sandbar out here. See how the water's light here, shallow, dark, and then that's all new. That's sand that they just added out here, pumped in out here. Look how clear the water is right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Who knows what all's out here in the water. You can usually find some really nice shells just offshore. Hey Roy, hey, you gonna stick around for a while?
Okay, I gotta go all the way back down to the end and get my car. And I'll drive back up here. Good. So it's gonna take me a little while. I'll have to get a little charge on the phone, but I'll be back, all right? Good, look forward to seeing you. All right, we'll have a chat. <laughs> oh, I love that. All right. See how far I can get before my battery goes dead back down the beach. But look at all this new beach here. All new beach. Incredible. Look at that sky out there, though. Wow. Let's take a photo. Boy, Scott and Linda are having a good morning shelling. I knew they would. I knew they were going to find some great shells this morning. It's amazing. You just walk slow. Keep your eyes open and you just got to like focus on an area. And all of a sudden you'll start finding things. You can't just run along looking at the beat at the sand. You got to stop. Let your eyes focus. And you will find some treasures out here. That Murex shell she found is incredible. Absolutely beautiful. And it's really raining out there. Hey, Lynn, how you doing? Great. What a wonderful morning. What a wonderful beach walk today. I'll go back up a little bit in 45 minutes or so and have a little chat with Roy. We got to see pretty much the whole entire beach in Del Nor Wiggins this morning. Area one looks like it has definitely the nicest beach. Area five, the beach is about gone. There's some beach left in area four. But we're in between high, low and high tide right now. The tide's on its way back in. Wow. There's a piece of an old crown conch right there. That would have been a nice one. Just a piece of an old crown, wow. That would have been a nice crown conch. get down and show you the new sea turtle nest. We saw the crawl tracks this morning. Let's check that out. The rangers did confirm that it was a successful crawl. So that's great. I think they have it, they call it caging when they put the markers up in that metal cage. It's a little snowy egret. Good morning. Look at his little yellow feet. Did you spot something there? Got his eye on something, looking for a little fish. Really see his little yellow feet there. Gonna move on down the beach, okay. Oh, almost. A little snowy egret with its little yellow feet. So, so cute. Oh, 
I thought maybe it was going to catch a fish here. Beautiful little plume, a white plume on top of its head. And they stick that up. Gorgeous birds. Amazing how they can spot a fish out there. Now let's get moving. Let's get moving. See if we can find that new turtle nest, nest number 13 real quick, before I sign off. I'm gonna share some photos of that later. Give you a good look at what the sea turtle tracks look like on the beach, so you know what you're looking at if you come across some. A lot of people see them and don't realize what they are, those crawl tracks. Another little snowy egret. Got quite a few nests right here, and I think I'm in area three, right between areas three and four. Up here, this nest up behind these sea grapes up on the dunes, that's the nest that Jennifer Ann actually she got some video of the sea turtle on the beach that night. That was pretty cool. Nest number 11, but Jennifer Ann got some cool video of the sea turtle up here. Hard to see, it was dark, but. She got to witness that sea turtle making that nest. That's incredible. That's a great opportunity. She lucked out on that one. Another nest right there. And just up ahead is our new nest. Nest number 13. They didn't drive those stakes down very far. You can see just ahead of me the crawl tracks on the beach. There's, there's her tracks. They kind of drove over them with the tractor. These are their, her tracks back to the water right there. Coming this way. There it is, nest number 13, very cool. Very, very cool. I'm gonna take a quick photo, bear with me. There you have it, sea turtle nest number 13. That's awesome. Saw well, something come up out of the water out here. And it might have just been the waves breaking offshore on the sandbar. There's a paddle boarder way out there. Sometimes the dolphins swim along with the paddle boarders. That's pretty cool. A lot of rain offshore. pelicans, brown pelicans swimming out there. A 
Oh, he's, he's got his he's got his bill down in the water there. Uh, he just got something in his gullet there. They just put that big bill down. It just puffs up like a big net, and fish just almost swim right into it. Pretty amazing. Pretty darn amazing. The brown pelicans. Here's another one doing it. See if I can. Oops. See if I can zoom in. Can find him. So he's just got his head down there in the water, swimming around with his mouth open, its mouth open. It just opens up like a big net. Yep, you got something. <laughs> Very cool. Going down again. She was a little closer. Yep, got something again. Pretty amazing. Great fishermen, the pelicans. He's swimming down. Boy, he's really going at it. He's getting something else. Get a little further down and closer there. Get a better look at it. Him or her, I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Interesting. Very fun to watch, huh? Very fun. What a great Saturday morning it's been. Had a nice walk this morning, nice long walk. We walked the entire beach this morning, started down in Area 1, went up to Area 5, up to Wiggins Pass. Saw our friends Scott and Linda. They're having a great morning shelling. They already found some wonderful shells. Definitely check that out. I found some nice stuff this morning too. I was just kind of hurrying along. I was kind of wanting to cover a lot of ground this morning, show you the whole beach. But I did find a couple nice shells, a couple nice worm shells, a neat little kitten's paw. We're in Area 2 now, the north end of Area 2 Beach. Good morning. Good morning. I'll turn around and give you a look up the beach here. To look north from the north end of area two. One of our turtle nests over there, sea turtle nest number two. Great access to the beach here with these ramps. I'm going to take a photo, bear with me.
That's a great look up the beach. And a good look at one of our access ramps. North end of parking lot two. I'm gonna call it a morning. I'll be back. I'm gonna go up and have a, I'm gonna put the phone on charge. I'll be back and I'll have a chat with Roy. So you're gonna wanna check back later for that. That won't be a live feed. That will just be a video that I post. So be ready for that. But thank you for, ooh, I see something jumping. This fish. I maybe it was a dolphin chasing a fish, but no. A lot of fish jumping right out there. I don't know if you can see them. Be patient. They might jump. We saw a lot of fish jumping this morning. Oh, it's a looks like a dolphin. Little dolphin. Something came up right here. Where'd it go? Something popped up right out here in front of me, right over here. I don't, right out in here. Two dolphins over here, swimming offshore. See them coming up over here? Can you see them out there? Oh no, what are they? They're snook. Big, big, or tarpon. Tarpon, they're huge. Watch, there's some big, a whole big school of tarpon swimming by out here. Where'd they go? Wow. Where did they go? They were surfacing just like dolphins. Incredible. There they are. See them up there? They come up out of the water just like dolphins. Wow. They're fast. <laughs> I can't keep up with them. There's a whole school of them just swimming along the beach. They're making their way north. Wow. That was incredible. I thought it was a dolphin, then no. Wow. They're all out there. What a great ending to a beach walk. Huge tarpon. I mean, that must have been four feet, three to four feet. That was amazing. Wow. Wow, 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 that's all I can say. Great end to my beach walk. I think there might be some more coming up here. Let me see here. Saw something, yep. Here comes, oh, there's a whole school of them. They're come all off the shore of the beach here. See them? Tarpon. Look at them all. I would love to see what that looks like from the air. I mean, they just go the whole length of the beach. See them surfacing? Wow. That is amazing. What a sight. I'm glad we got to witness that. That was very cool. As our sun dips in behind the clouds, what timing, huh? As we end our beach walk. Hey, thank you everyone for tuning in this morning. We started early. Hey, remember, nobody pays me to do these beach walks. If you'd like to make a little contribution, it is always appreciated. It helps pay the phone bill. It's coming due now, any day now. So. My phone is a valuable asset for these beach walks.
If you want to make a little contribution, you can find my PayPal account and information in the description of this post a little later, as soon as I end the live feed. Every little bit helps, and I thank, I thank you. And thanks to those who have made a little contribution. It looks like we're losing the sun. As I conclude my Saturday morning beach walk at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. But that was really neat seeing those tarpon. I'm gonna go up and have a little conversation with Roy here and I'll share that later. I'm gonna give you one more look around and then sign off. That's what I was getting ready to do when we saw those tarpon. I was getting ready to sign off. He doesn't ever know. Well, have a great Saturday, wherever you're watching from. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Please, please, please take the time to check out my photos and videos. When you come across something you like, hit the like button, but more importantly, hit the share button. Help me spread the word. We're all about the beauty of Southwest Florida and this beautiful beach right here, Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Again, have a wonderful Saturday, wherever you're watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.